What is going on guys? It's your boy Headband J coming back at y'all with another video. I know it has been a little bit, but just was really busy with the end of the semester, but now it's my winter break, my final winter break, so I have time to go through the, all the intramural footage that I accumulated throughout my ninth semester of college. Today is a three game highlight pack. The first two games I was subbing for another team because they were short a person. The final game uh, is with the actual team. Uh, that I formed and that I was playing with throughout the entire season. So this is a little three for one for you guys. And I do have commentary over these highlights instead of music. So you guys can get a little bit more insight and some of my thoughts on each of these plays. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out my other content and check out my Instagram, which is linked below. And enjoy the video. I will see you guys soon. What is going on, guys? You, you can hear I am back on the mic right now and I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do, which is the commentary. So, see me with a nice dab to my opponent a couple seconds ago, and then I'm gonna stretch, and it's called surfer stretch, side to side. First bucket of the day here. Little floater, I get the kind roll on it. Second bucket of the day. Let's just pretend like I was trying to bank that in. One-footed floater from the free throw line. Really like this play right here. Nice little fadeaway. Don't take that shot often. Probably need to incorporate in my game more. They just let me walk into a mid-range jumper there. And in our league, you can shoot off the check, which just makes it incre incredibly easy. A lot of people forget that. I'm not calling for a travel there. I'm saying keep the game going because that buzzer that went off was for the other court, not the court that we're playing on. Pass there. My teammate gets there in two dribbles. That's an assist. Screen, set, no hand up, way too easy. Probably could have shot this right here, but I pass it up. Once again, shout out to my teammate for getting there in two dribbles. A rare assist for the man who loves to shoot. I mean, come on, you give me five feet of space. It's like a layup at that point. There is a contest here, but it's too late. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Love shooting from the corners. Three from the top of the key. And that was it for the first game. I finished that game with 21 points. Then as you can see, I switched to the black shirt walking onto the court right now. I'm talking to the tallest player in the league who is around 6'8". We were talking, what we're talking about on this play when he was showing me the SWAT, that was actually what happened a couple games ago. I don't believe I've edited that game yet. There's my paranoid ass checking the camera to make sure that's running again. Starting off the game with a steal, a rare steal, and then 6'8 guy gets me right back with the jam. I mean, how often do you see a guy like that in intramurals? He is a D1 volleyball player, by the way. So credit to him for making time to play in this intramural league. Bro literally predicted the future. <laughs> Don't know what I was doing. Pump fake probably would have been a good idea. I guess that's one way to stop him. Just take him to the ground. I included this play. I really like the teamwork from my teammates right here. Several passes that lead to a wide open layup. We were getting dogged in this game early. Miss on the fadeaway jumper. This is my first bucket of the day. I'm lucky that he did not put a hand up. Once again, just spamming that three from the top of the key move. You're gonna see me do it several more times, like right here. Once again, no way for us to stop that. Even if we do try to get in the way, he could probably just jump over us at that point. Third three from the top of the key. Got a very, very friendly roll there. That one surprised me. Great rebound right there. Quick shot from the top of the key. Nothing but the bottom of the net. This is a great play to show to all younger hoopers. Should have gone up with my left hand there. If I go with my left, probably doesn't get blocked. Me not going up with my left leads to a three-pointer for the other team. Little bit of trickery right here. Still from the top of the key, but my teammate having a little fun with the pass. One-handed jam for the big man. But I immediately get him right back with another three-pointer. Clue this play. He made it from his backside. Got him on the ground once again, but didn't matter. Luckily, that bucket did not count. 
probably my best three of the game right here. Rebound, quick trigger, little Selly right there. Little low-key Selly. Missed this shot right here. I just liked it because I included my hustle. Saved it right before the half-court line. Oh, yeah, we got Random Bro saying what's up. Pete, I have several shots of people doing that throughout the year. Third game of the day. Did not change the other shirt. Still in the black shirt. And this was with my actual team. As you can see, I looked down at the ball there because it's a women's ball. Don't know how my teammate gets that past me. You might want to watch that one back again. He tapped it twice in the air, I believe. But yes, we are playing with a women's ball, which we are very unused to. Which we are not very used to. Very nice fadeaway. Right there. Great rebound. Very patient player. Very, very patient player my teammate is, I must say. Once again, posting up. And this is just a great example of like the women's ball just hoeing us. There's going to be a layup later in this game where I have one that goes in and out like that. Great shot right there. But yeah, we playing with the women's ball really caught us off guard. Good take by me there. And I don't know why we didn't decide not to switch to a men's ball because the other team was entirely men. They literally, the, the staff just threw us a women's ball and we weren't even thinking about it. We got... Some random dude who's probably a cybersecurity major, major hitting a spin around fadeaway like that. That's how you know it's a rough day. Then on the next play, he's looking like prime Tony Parker. That's how I knew that we were in trouble. Great pass as she's falling down right there. And here's where I get hoed in and out and not down. Touched every part of the rim except the bottom of the net. Once again, top of the key three. Easy money sniper from that spot. It don't matter. You got to get up. And we did end up losing this game. I mean, the first two games where I was subbing, we also lost, but we ended up losing this game too. We just severely, severely underplayed right here. A rare time where I do a two dribble pull-up jumper. I feel like I'm training with my old personal trainer again. I almost make one of the craziest shots I would have ever made, the reload three, but at this point I know the game is over. One last bucket for my teammate. She does a great job on the boards here, and that is the game. Rough day, to say the least. Rough day, but fun day.